Hi, my name is Magnar Nordahl. I'm a captain instructor on ATR aircraft. And this is an update on Uni Air Flight 9091, who had an incident four days ago. Uh, I just got hold on a report from Taiwan Transportation Safety Board, TTSB, and they write as following. On May 10th, 2021, at 0927 Taipei time, Uni Air Flight B7-9091, an ATR-72-600 aircraft departed from Taipei Songsan Airport, RCSS, to Matsunangan Airport, RCFG, with two flight crew, two cabin crew, and 70 passengers on board. At 1007 hours, the right landing gear of the aircraft was broken during landing at RCFG. The aircraft go around and returned back to RCSS Airport. That is Songsan. The aircraft landed at RCSS Airport at 11.10 hours. The right landing gear of the aircraft was damaged. No injuries to the persons on board. After receiving the notification, the Taiwan Transportation Safety Board, TTSB, immediately dispatched its five investigators to RCSS Airport for evidence collections. The TTSB identified that this event is an aviation occurrence in accordance with the Transportation Occurrence Investigation Act. The investigator in charge was assigned and an investigation team was launched to conduct the investigation. Further information and progress of the occurrence investigation will be published on the TTSB website. Okay, so we get an update of how many persons there were on board. They have 70 passengers, which means this flight was full. We also got the confirmation that the aircraft had landed at the destination airport and then made a go around and return back to Songsan. The landing at Songsan was successful and the flight crew did a very good job by maintaining directional control and stopped the aircraft. When we look at the pictures, you can see the damage to the wheels, the tires are missing and there is some damage to the landing gear door and the fairing behind the landing gear. And this picture shows the tire that was hanging below the aircraft prior to touchdown. And it looks a bit peculiar. It's look, it looks like it's been cut straight off. I really wonder how that can happen. But we have to be patient now because the TTSB has to download the information from the flight data recorder, the cockpit voice recorder, and do the analysis. They will interview the crew and other eyewitnesses. And then they will draw conclusions. We might get a factual report within one or two months. And I will keep an eye for it and update you. Until then, have a wonderful day and happy learning.